Okay, this is a word for the quiz, which is a simple discount. And in order to keep the problem relatively simple, I gave you the relevant time periods that you need. So remember, whenever you see a discount problem, the first question is going to be, what is the maturity value? Okay, you can't discount anything unless you know what the amount is you're discounting. For example, you should be practicing those T-bill exercises. T-bills have face amounts. Uh, a T-bill is going to pay twenty, thirty, forty thousand dollars, whatever's on the face of the T-bill, on a certain date. And then you pay less than the face amount because you buy it at a discount. That's one way to do it. Uh, if you have a promissory note or other obligation that you take to a finance company, or sometimes they're called a factor, then you need to know what the maturity value is so that they can work back and discount it back to uh, whatever the amount is that you decide to pay. So uh, finding out the maturity value of this note should be no problem at this point. You basically take your, uh, your uh, 1 plus RT equation and you start with your principal of 24,000 and you multiply it by the equation. And some of you have asked me for the steps, so I'm going to hold up my calculator right now. I'm going to work through it. Uh, I start by clearing my register. I enter 320, enter 365, divide 0 0.06 times 1 plus 24,000 times. That gives me 2526247. Remember, I'm also using the RPN or reverse Polish notation. Um, it's the way to use this HP and it's very powerful. So practice that. This should be no problem. I should be able to give you any kind of instrument uh, and have you extract from the facts how much that thing is going to be worth in the future. So let's go to the next step. You apply your discount equation but you only apply it to the discount period. Okay, It can be tricky sometimes from the facts I give you uh, to know when the discount happens. Typically I'll give you a date and say on this date they discounted the note. Here I just said 200 days before the note is due and that should have signaled to you that your discount period is 200 days. And I know some folks got confused because they brought it forward but just understand that whenever you do discount it's kind of uh, the opposite of everything. Discount is the only time that you use that 1 minus DT equation and it works like this. Proceeds are what you get after you discount or sell the note. So your proceeds are going to be a little bit less than that S number which is your maturity value or your future value. Remember that because you're multiplying times some, some number less than 1. So your S is going to decrease a bit as part of this. So there it is filled in. You just do the, the math here and I'll, I'll walk through on the uh, calculator. Clear the X register, 200, enter, 365 divide, 0 0.075 times, and that's important because your discount rate was 7.5 percent. Okay, now I, I'm looking on my display, I see 0 0.04. I hit the CHS key, which is um, two keys above the enter key. That changes the sign. Then I hit 1 plus and then 25262.47 times. I get 24224.29. And that is the quiz. That was an easy one. So that would likely be a 10 point question on your, uh, on your midterm for this. So practice your discounting. Just remember, whenever you see a discount problem, the first thing you do is figure out what it's worth at maturity. Then you apply your discount equation to the discount period.